Congratulations to Wake Forest. Um, you know, obviously, uh, it's a hard-fought game, a game of, uh, of swings, and um, you know, they did a they did a nice job of, of coming in and being able to execute and you doing the things necessary to uh, to win the game. Um, you know, disappointed. You know, I, I thought our guys, um, you know, especially there in the first half, really started almost almost pressing when we had a little bit of adversity that showed up. Um, you know, did a lot of uncharacteristic things. He had some uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic mistakes that have shown up. You know, way too many penalties. You know, we'd uh, turnover ball. You know, ball in jeopardy. You know, balls were in jeopardy. You know, you look at the uh, um, third down situations on both sides. I mean, you know, they did a really good job in their in their in those critical down situations. Um, I think they were 13 out of 21. You know, of third and fourth downs. And I mean, and then you know, obviously we were not we we're not as good. To, we're not able to, to extend drives. You had some untimely mistakes. You know, negatives, um, which you know, really hurt us from being able to establish the rhythm that we wanted to have. Um, you know, that's you know, they're they're late. Um, you know, we really got to, had to kind of push and really push the ball. Um, I thought our guys, you know, did battle back. I thought they they did show heart. I thought they they were they were fighting through. It just you know we made made some mistakes throughout that game that you just cannot have to beat a good good team. And that's a good team. It's very a very experienced team. It's one that doesn't beat themselves. They don't turn the ball over. Um, you know, they executed and made tough catches in critical situations. Um, and you know we you know we lost we lost our focus in times of of. Um, in times of adversity, which is something that we've really t made some very positive strides on, uh, you'll hear over the over the uh, the course of the last year. But today, um, you know that that showed up, and you know, there's a, a lot of a lot of things that we're going to have to do to continue to uh, to improve. But I still believe in this in the football team. I told him I knew that we would find ourselves in a position there in the fourth quarter uh, to have an opportunity to go win the game. And uh, you know, Ultimately, we didn't we didn't make make the plays necessary uh, to be able to finish it. But um, you know, those guys you know, absolutely responded um, you know, throughout the game, and you know, just too many mistakes on our end uh, to to beat a good team. The last time we talked to you during the week, I think it was Wednesday, and you didn't seem like you were thrilled with maybe the first couple of days of practice, the execution. How did the week end, and what did you see from the team? Did you expect them to handle the moment better today? Uh, you know, I. I thought they did respond at the back part of the week. I, I thought they, uh, um, you know, they worked hard. You know, they're, you know, it's, it's, it's like I told them. You know, I, it wasn't the effort. The effort was not the issue. The, the, I mean, the, what they, what they're putting in. It's just, you know, the, the finer details of the focus and the execution and the things that, uh, uh, that, that are critical to show up within the course of practice when you're playing a good team, one that's not going to beat themselves, one that has the experience that they have, um, and that's where you have to be. At the, at the greatest of details, and um, you know, I, I don't, I don't question our teams want to. All right, it's just you know, we've got to, you know, we've got to make sure that we're consistent in in those little things that can carry over to allow us to to go play our best. And um, you know, we've seen we've seen the really good examples of that. And then tonight, you know, we saw, you know, we we saw that work against us. Um, you know, and it was like I said, it was one of the first times this year where you know I felt like we were just pressing to have to like you know we, we had a play that would, that it didn't work, or they made a play, or things that, and it's just like you know, everybody want with all the right intentions, you're know, operating a little bit out of outside of what necessarily they needed to do, and you know, it might have caused a, a negative play or, or or maybe a missed assignment or something that that it was it was definitely correctable where you know our technique is not where it needs to be, and you get a a penalty, and those those things are. Those things that beat you, and you know, we have to be better in those moments. And um, I, I know our guys are going to respond to it, but it's just so disappointing um, because I, I do know the work that they're putting in. But in the moment, you've got to be able to apply the work. With Wake's success on on third down, was there a common theme to where they were able to maintain you know, drive, stay on the field, something that they were doing? Or that you guys weren't doing consistently. Yeah, I mean, you know, they did, they did a good job of mixing up the run and pass game. We knew that that's that's something that they do. I mean, it's uh, um, you know we got to we got to win in one on one matchups and run game and in the passing game. And there were times that you know we would we had you know had opportunities, but um, you know they did a good job of, of converting and you were able to play ahead of the change. There, there were a lot of third and manageable situations, um, you know, and that's where you know for us, I mean, it's 
you know, every every play matters, and you know, it's a it's a it's a good offense. It's one that uh, um, you know it does challenge you, it stresses you. Um, but for us, you know, we've got to you know we've got to have those impactful plays, which showed up there in the in the third quarter. And you know, I thought as we the third and and um, you know first part of there, the fourth. I mean, we were able to to get that um, you know. To, to, to play the way that, that I that expected us to, and you know, but still, um, you know, we just missed miss some real opportunities. Yeah, I mean, um, Jared Verse came into this game um, hurt. Um, you know, he played at, it looked like he didn't play all the snaps, but he played a limited amount, but um, he made an impact in the game. Um, talk about his performance today. Yeah, you know, I thought Jared, um, you know, he did a great job in, in working to rehab. You know, really didn't practice much uh, you know, throughout the week. Got a little bit out, out, out of him there on Friday. You watch him move around. We, you know, uh, we knew that if, if he was available, we didn't know whether he was going to play until you know, pregame. And he got out there moving around. Uh, you know, felt comfortable. You know, moved. You know, doctors, everybody felt comfortable in, in, uh, you know, with the opportunity. And, you know, but we're going to be limited with him. And you know, as the game went on, you know, kind of let him let him kind of you know gauge where where he was and um, but I mean I thought he I thought he battled he played extremely hard you know he's a great player um, that has a great future in front of him as he continues to go but um, you know I was, I was definitely pleased with the work that he put in to make himself even available for today. You've mentioned a few times that you thought there may be times in the first half where the, the team was pressing a bit. Do you think does that come from? pressure of a ranking or a 4-0 start, things like that? And how do you kind of talk to the team about that? Yeah, I mean, I think success, you know, it, 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 everybody wants, I mean, everybody wants more. And, you know, you start off, you have success, you, you have the, the good feelings of, of seeing that play out. And, you know, life, uh, I say this, you know, life's not a fairy tale. It's not going to just always go this, this way. It's not, you're going to face things that it, it, the key to it is the response. And, you know, in the moment, you know, we've done such a good job this year that when we've had a bad play, when something's gone wrong, you know, we've been able to flip the switch and just get to the next one. And today it just, I just felt that it was, a, it was a little bit of a different energy there on the side. Like guys just, you know, they want it so bad, but you got to stay true to the things that you do and how you prepare. You gotta stay true to the, those little things, the fundamentals, the techniques, I mean, the, 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 the focus. And, you know, I thought that, you know, we got, we got distracted in some moments, whether it's what, you know, Wake was doing, whether it was, you know, things that we were, that we believe we needed to do uh, to, uh, to, to, to make the play when ultimately we just gotta go out there and, and continue to push to, 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 trust, to trust our preparation and to go put it on display. Hey Mike, what was your assessment? Yeah, you're good. Okay, uh, what was your assessment of the offensive line's performance today? Um, you know, we had it was a, you know kind of a mixed bag to be honest with you. You know, too many you know too many penalties. You know, the, the negatives uh, that showed up. I mean, you know, we had a couple drives that were going, um, but mostly those guys. You know, we've had to been battling with it. Now um, you've got some guys that are that are still relative newcomers to the program that are um, you know being asked to to do a lot, and you know. We've had some injuries up front that uh, you know it's you know we're, we're really kind of testing into the depth, but you know the, those guys are very capable, and we've seen them play you know really well. Uh, to, today, you know, there were some things that showed up that you know were uncharacteristic, and that's why you know, as I said that earlier. It's just you know for all the for all the positive strides, you know, whether it's a, a movement or whether it's you know a, a different look or a stem, you know, just. Just trust your eyes and, and be able to go up, apply what you what you know to do in that moment. And um, you know, I just thought that I thought we were a little you know a little shaken at, at times. You know, with uh, um, with the overall performance. And then you know, I mean, our, but our guys they battled, and um, I definitely appreciate that group. And um, you know, I know that they're going to continue to improve. Mike, did did that offensive line and some of the struggles they had? Did, do you think that led to Jordan? Um, maybe pressing a little bit in that first half. He seemed to play much better in the second half, but there was a stretch there yeah, really no, in the second I mean, quarter. It, it's, where it's, it's, it's everybody. I mean, it's, you know, you point, Jordan, you talk to the, about the guys up front, you, uh, you know, all. I mean, and that's really what did show up is that, you know, there was, you know, everybody wants to make the play. And, you know, if you, if you trust, if you trust all the training that you prepare, the play will come to you, and you will be able to make the play in the moment. And um, you know, but I thought Jordan responded really well in the second half. You know, it's just, you know, which is what he does. I mean, and that's it shows the, the leader that he is. It shows the, the confidence that he does have uh, you and the guys around him. But um, you know, I thought I thought as an offense in general, uh, there were times in the first half that we, we you know, we weren't. At, 
when we started to get a drive, it would be, you know, a, a mistake here or a negative here. And then it's just, you know, well, I've got to overcome that, which we do. But let's, you know, we've just got to do that within the, the, the core of what, you know, of what we do. Uh, you mentioned uh, s telling the team you still have you want to still have a chance at late in the fourth quarter. How does kind of scrapping and fighting in a day that may may not have been your best day help the team have confidence for the rest of the eight games, rest of the season? And I mean, you know, they, they, these guys they believe. I mean, there's not a question in their belief. It's not a question in their approach to the work and of, of of what they what they know that they can do. Um, I had I had no doubt throughout the course of the game that we were going to put ourselves in a position to go have a chance to win it. And um, unfortunately, we did not make the plays necessary to, to do that. But you, know, you saw the heart. You know, yeah, I, I appreciate you know, all the fans that came out today. I mean, there was great energy within the stadium, you know, really kind of fueled off, off of them there in the second half. And just, um, you know, so grateful for that. But uh, you know, these guys, they, you know, they want it. And, you know, we, we see, you know, we've seen the the benefits of that in some really tough situations against some good people that, you know, over over the last four games that, you know, we what we're capable of. But today, you know, we you know, we weren't able to be consistent enough in 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 that, uh, to be able to achieve success. But uh, you know, I, like I said, like uh, there's no no question in, in how they were gonna fight. Wake's offense obviously puts up a lot of points against most everybody. Uh, you guys did get those couple of stops there in the third, maybe into the fourth quarter. Was there anything different at that point uh, than maybe earlier the rest of the game? You no, know, I mean, you know, I thought we did a good job of being disruptive up front. You know, we were able to, to, to get pressure on the quarterback. We were able to get pressure in the run game. Um, you know, I, I thought there was some, you know, it wasn't any big picture adjustments to what we were doing. Um, you know, guys competed, you know, competed hard. and. You know, ultimately there in the fourth quarter, you know, we were, were in position to, to, to make a play or two. And their guys, you know, they, they, they had a couple of really good plays that they made and, you know, contested catches. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, we got to continue to continue to fight, continue to believe through it. But, uh, you know, I, there wasn't a, a wholesale change in what we were doing to, to get a stop. We were just, you know, we were being more, we were able to be more disruptive. And uh, you know, that really kind of helped us uh, through, that, through that third and early fourth. A couple of um, wide receiver questions. Um, start off with, um, you know, Micah Pittman had a big game, you know, stepped up, I think it was career high in um, yards and touchdowns. And then, um, you know, um, assess his play. And then on the other side, A.T. Perry, you know, he's been a problem. Um, you know, how did he play and how do you guys try to slow him down? Um, you know, I thought Micah, you know, Micah is an extremely hard worker. You know, he, he, he shows up every day at practice, um, you know, whether it's, you know, Catching the ball, you know, you know, obviously the blocking of what he does, um, you know, just his competitive spirit. You know, I thought he was great on the sideline throughout the course of the game. Just his encouragement, his energy. Um, he had a big punt return, which was which was uh, was something that we needed. And I mean, I just love I, I love you know how how he comes to work every day. And you know, I, it was good to see him you know make those uh, make those plays and really kind of help spark us you know throughout. But. Uh, you know, excited about what what Micah's future is and just his continued growth. Um, you know, Perry is is I mean he's he's a challenge. I mean he's a big receiver, does a good job. Um, you know, it, it was able to, they were able to create some some separation. Um, you know, throughout you know does does a do a good job conceptually and and obviously. Um, you know, you've got to be able to maintain for long periods of time with some of those slow meshes, and you know they they were uh, they did a nice nice job with them. But um, you know, I thought, like I said, I thought our guys there in the, in the second half really uh, um, you know rose to the challenge after that after that first drive, and uh, you know that they responded. But you know, you got to give credit to to, to Wake and how they played. We got time for two more. We'll go back over to Corey. As a play caller and a decision maker, when you have a kicker that's struggling, if it's fourth and manageable, are you going for it in probably th those spots there, especially late in the game and then even late in the first half, or is it because it's one was fourth yeah. and twenty, another was fourth and twelve? Yeah, it's a, when it when it got to the long yardage situ the the extreme long yardage situations. Um, you know, if we were more manageable and knowing that we had to, it was we had to be able to to get points and um, you know. I, both both were in range, you know. Obviously, uh, um, you know, Ryan, you know, with missed opportunity today. I mean, it's you know, it, you know, it's I do believe in what he's capable of. And um, but on the flip side of it, you know, you have to look at the time that's left on the clock, the opportunities of what that's going to provide. You got to get two scores, but 
you know, it's all, all things that, that are taken into into thought process and, and throughout the equation. Um, you know, same thing. They're you know two point two point play and make the decision and uh, you know, uh, going for that in the in the third quarter, trying to trying to be able to create you know opportunities to go win. And that's where, you know, we didn't get the first one, we got the second one. You know, it kind of changes a little bit of the dynamics. If you get the first one, you know, being down, being down 21 and, uh, um, you know, it's just, you know, we're going to be aggressive to go win games. And, you know, I, I thought, um, you know, the response and, and making the second two-point conversion, you know, got it back to, to a seven-point game. And, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to do enough, uh, you know, there at the end to, 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 to finish it up. Mike, that final 18 play drive that Wake Forest had, what, what kind of went into some of those backbreaking conversions they had, third down, fourth downs? And just for the whole game, what do you think they were doing maybe on those particular downs? You know, I mean, they did they did a good job. Their backs ran hard, their O line, you know, they fought, you know, the receivers made contested catches. You know, we had a, had a chance, I thought, on one of the third downs. I mean, a guy goes up over the top of, of a, a guy who makes a play. Um, you know, that's those are those drives where you know it's you know we got to rise up and you know I thought our guys were were fighting hard with it. They did a really nice job of executing and and um, you know making the plays when when it counted. And that's what ultimately allowed them to to you know go and score you know score the last field goal. I was proud of our guys for for you know holding them up and and forcing them to have to kick you know to kick the field goal. But um, you know it was you know, it was definitely. Um, a challenging drive, and you know, it's like, like I said, it's a good offense. You know, they've they've been they've been doing good things. They got a lot of experienced players that um, you know, with up front to the running, you know, running backs, receivers. Obviously, they they know what they're they, they know what they're trying to do. And um, you know, I thought we did have some opportunities, just didn't do a good enough job of uh, you know being able to capitalize on those uh, you in that in that last drive. All right. Thank you. Coach. Thank you, guys.